Hi and welcome to the review of The Wall Medieval Heroes. I am super excited to do this review. Number one, it's not a hog. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of hidden object games. This one also I'm really excited about because it is new and different. This game combines time management strategy with uh, strategy tower building games. So let's delve in. It's based on rock, paper, scissors in the sense that cavalry defeats tank, tank defeats anti-cavalry, anti-cavalry defeats cavalry. You see what I'm saying? And they even make that clear in the tutorials. Here are all the tutorials and you have to go through all these before you can even play your first level. And I know it sounds ridiculous. If you're like me, you hate tutorials. This one Trust me, you're going to want the tutorials. It is a new and different concept, but I'm going to give you a brief introduction. While I get this started, I'm going to ask you, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. The links are in the description beneath the video. You can upgrade your banners. Your banners are really, really cool to upgrade because they give you special things and you get experience points for all the little bad guys that you kill and your banners give your soldiers whatever is around them. Um, special powers and power-ups and all that sort of things. Emeralds are not rampant. As you can see, I haven't upgraded anything, really. I haven't even gotten my first banner. But they, they do come back. You get them um, from enemies. And I will warn you, where coins and food, from what I can tell, stay there forever. I've actually left them there, seeing if they would disappear emeralds do disappear you have to click on the emeralds the food and gold you just wave your little wand over but the emeralds you have to click on if you'll notice when you get in here to green hills your very first one you can unlock the different ones you want to do extended pro pro extended and they get harder and harder and harder this one you have to do with one life which in all honesty i have yet let yet to lose a single life so i really don't see that that being a problem at this level but let's see what we can do Select all the guys that you want. Your cavalry is hidden behind the wall. Your archers go on towers. Your pikemen and warriors are controlled by your banners. Your banners you can move. So it's even better than a regular tower defense because you can move, metaphorically, your towers. I'll show you. I'm going to go ahead and show you the village. More work. Upgrade complete. No problem. They will stay. The really cool part is they will stay on these more work gold mines, so to speak, these golden rocks, until they're gone. Now you have to keep an eye out. There's gonna be critters coming here before long. So you have to go back and forth constantly. More work. You don't have to stop them from one thing. If they're mining gold and you click on something else, they will go there automatically and I mean, it's just so intuitive, and it's so friendly in trying to make things good. I, I really enjoy all the thought that has been put into this game. Let's get our banners going. All right. Right away. All right. Right away. Right away. Right away. In the village, you can upgrade your farms. More work. You actually do need more food than you think you do. You can upgrade cake. Upgrade your cavalry, your uh, swordsmen, your archers. Upgrade complete. Here comes one. And just like any tower defense, right away. You have ranges. Right away. Nice. 
And you have early bird specials. If I click on this now, I'm going to get a lot more gold than just letting it do its own thing. They will only let so much gold build up, and then they have to quit mining no before you can come back and pick up the rest of the gold. More. You can run out of gold. They can't finish work. a rock, and you will have to put them back onto another rock. Upgrade complete. Uh oh, this means we're in trouble. Let's hire some cavalry. Victory! Each wave, of course, gets uh, sequentially harder. Upgrade complete. That time, I actually made a big mistake. I let my pikemen fight those warriors, and it just about killed them off. I should have had the warriors go in and fight them. And I really need archers at this point. You will, of course, eventually figure out what you really want where. All right. All right. Now, sometimes you'll have a big doozy of a, of a people come in. And that is when you will want to do your cavalry. I'll just go ahead and show you. Yeah, I've only got one horse right now, so he's pretty pitiful. But, of course, that grows. You cannot plant more of these. You cannot have more than the two banners. You cannot have more than however many horses will fit in your one section of cavalry. Your banners, of course, can be upgraded to where you can have better men that the banner surrounds, but, you know, maybe a bigger range, but you cannot add more banners. That is the unfortunate part, but I suppose that's what allows it to be challenging. Here comes the catapult, and the catapult is very dangerous. You can only go so far ahead with your right. soldiers, warriors. They only let you go. You know, there, there is a boundary that you cannot pass. All right. All right. Oh, got it. That lost that emerald there, didn't I? And now we have finished Victory. the last wave. Yay! All right, awesome. And that is it for this game. Um, I really recommend this game for anyone who enjoys tower defense or time management, either one. And I can only hope that there are other casual games eventually going to come out that are just as new as this one as far as thoughts and, and, and mixing things up go. And this has been Big Mama, and I'll see you on the next review.